All right, let's get to it. We're gonna build a solar water heater today. Woohoo! So I got my stuff ready. There's some lumber. There is the panel for the back where the aluminum things go on. Um, then we have black paint, spray paint. We have the copper copper pipes. I think it's called PEX tubing in the US of A. Um, some uh, yeah, isolation for the PEX tubing once it comes out of the uh, heater. Then, which I'm very thankful for, um, this is aluminum heat absorbers already pressed. I got them only for, for shipping costs from my friend Kurt. 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 Thanks to that again. Um, yeah, more lumber decoration. Let's get to it. So, this would be the front view. Now I'm gonna uh, spread some aluminum foil in there to kind of act as a heat reflector, as the physics states, and also maybe like a like a heat absorber from the plates because the, the aluminum sheeting is going to go right on top of that and as, as usual the pipe's going to go in between right so uh, yeah I'm hoping this will give me one or two degrees more as less heat is like um, radiated through the cardboard stuff it's not really cardboard it's like um, closet back wood stuff you know yeah so this is the front view and I'm gonna go get to it to the aluminum foil and okay yeah. so um, this is that aluminum foil on the rack um, I didn't put much effort into accuracy there ah, yeah cuz I mean I mean the aluminum plating is gonna push it down anyway it's, uh, I just wanted it to stick so I used some tape I hope that won't melt and um, just to clarify, I'm making this up as I go here and trying to uh, work up a solution for bending the PEX tubing um, without too much stress involved. So again, this wooden half circle I got from my friend Kurt and uh, thanks for that again. Otherwise it would be another half an hour work for me. So yeah, I just I uh, measured the spacing compared it to my plan and then I came up with this again made up as I went so um, yeah uh, this is working pretty good like the results almost perfect on the first try and there. I'm gonna get a pair of pliers and straighten that out so it's a little high maintenance huh and the cold and all. All right, Whatever. this would be the back side. I decided to put some styrofoam on it. Um, yeah, for, for the insulation. So the whole thing is now about five plus two point four makes seven point five, about seven point five centimeters thick. On top of that will be the stand, which I'll do later. All right, got the sheeting on there. Now let me just point out, me and the packs tubing, we just ain't friends. Look at this stuff, huh? My advice to you, don't try to bend packs tubing at minus five degrees outside. It just won't bend like you want it to. Otherwise, well, a thousand screws later, I think I'm done here and I'm gonna start spraying it now. Damn you, I finished spray paint bottle shit. Well, for the first day, ain't bad, huh? All right, it's the next day. I sprayed it, finished the coating, and now I'm gonna paint the wood with normal wood. Like, I don't know what it's called. Impregnation or something. All right. All right. Now we have matching colors to the greenhouse. Huh? How's that? Now all I gotta do is put 
put in the glass. Outside snow, inside 30 degrees Celsius. How great is that? Okay now, I'm especially proud of the glass I got. It's recycled window. Now that crack is uh, entirely my fault. I tried brute strength instead of cautious taking apart. So you just get the windows, take off the frames, and there you are with the plain window. So these are two. One is broken, but that's not a big deal because it's uh, only one side that is broken. The other side is fine. I just put the cracked one inside and good enough. Here is uh, my substrate bed, the flood and drain bed already a little bit cycling. There are no fish in there yet, but I'm hoping uh, it'll take off a few days of the curing of the system. We'll see. All right, another day is going to end. I was not as productive today as I had wanted to. Yeah, whatever. So the stand is done. I think that'll do. Um, I already tried one of the windows. They fit nicely. I put those in as supporters because I'm not going to put the windows on top of the frame. They'll go inside of the frame. That way I hope to utilize most of the uh, transparent surface of the window. But uh, yeah. Uh, the rest I'll do tomorrow. I'm kind of spent. Okay, it's night time. But okay, uh, I'm continuing to work on the solar water heater project. So this blue barrel will be the hot water storage from which I will draw heat with a spiral which I have not decided on yet, like how I'm gonna do it. Um, the heat, so the, the, the heat for the heating of the aquaponics water. All right, so I'm, I'm covering this thing in aluminum foil again to reflect heat radiation. And then again with uh, last year's styrofoam, I'm gonna cut it in strips and then attach it to the thing. And lastly, I'll wrap some plastic foil around it and maybe for the looks of it, I'll cover it in wood, in old recycled wood. I think I'll have to take apart the shed for that, but that's one. that one's got to go down anyway, so yeah. Okay, so I just put the windows in place. Um, this will be... The almost finished product. I did not silicone the windows in just yet because I might just get another one and replace this with the broken one. So here it is. Because of the cracks there's already water condensating between the two glass plates. So I don't know. I'll see what happens. Otherwise uh, the condensation is proof that it works and um, now I'll get the water tank finished and do a first test. Also, I didn't close it up because of the the valve or the, the connection piece I put in here. Oh, you probably can't see. Maybe there's a leak there. I don't want to have to silicone it all over again. So, yeah. By the way, so the glass fits neatly. Good. Okay, otherwise for the stand I did not uh, go all scientific here. Just put down some bricks and put down the stand. And uh, yeah, see how that holds up. I'm gonna back it up with some earth there and we'll see. This is the barrel, hot, solar hot water storage. Um, I already started to build the bottom piece. And I'll have to go and do some shopping for the lid. And then I'll have to find a way to isolate the damn thing when I drill it and insert the pipes. Right? Maybe you have some suggestions about that. How do I insulate or I, how do I 
uh, seal the holes once I've inserted the the pipes that deliver cold and hot water. <sighs> okay. <laughs>